So here we're looking at a section of vertebral column with real bones. Uh, and here we're in the thoracic region. And I just wanted to point out that in between each adjacent uh, pair of uh, vertebrae, what we have is a hole. So this would be an intervertebral foramen. So when there are two vertebrae next to each other, the combination of the bones makes a foramen here on the lateral aspect. That's an intervertebral foramen. And remember, foramina is just the plural of that. And again, if we have uh, two or more vertebrae articulating with each other, this structure here is now the vertebral canal. So that structure there has a different name if there's one, just one single vertebra on its own. But if there's two or more, that hole there, that tunnel, is the vertebral canal. And now let's just have a look at one single vertebra. So now we're looking at an anterior point of view. If we just turn it around so we're looking at a lateral point of view, you can see here on the anterior aspect of it is the body. So seen from above, superior point of view, there's the body. So everything else that we can see here is the arch. So if I could somehow pin all of those structures together, you would just write vertebral arch. Now in between, Surrounded by those structures is the vertebral foramen. So if there's one vertebra, that's the foramen. If there's two or more, it's the vertebral canal. Now the arch is made up of several different bits. So seen from above, firstly, attaching the arch to the body, we have the, l the pedicle. So there's the pedicle, seen from the side as well. Pedicle there. And then coming off the pedicle, we have the transverse process. And then we have another process that's protruding superiorly. So better to see that from a lateral point of view. So there's the superior articular process. Here's the transverse process just under it. Then this one here must be the inferior articular process. And again, seen from a posterior point of view, you can see that quite clearly there. So transverse process, superior articular process, inferior articular process, then this flattish region here is the lamina. So the lamina is kind of in between the articular processes and then the last one we need to know, the spinous process. Now there's a couple of quite specialised vertebrae that you do need to be able to identify, but fortunately only two. And here they are. Here we've got C1 with no body, and here we have C2, which not only has a body, but also has this part that protrudes superiorly from the body called the dens. And that is the bony material, or the skeletal material, that should have been the body of C1, but that allows us to turn our head from side to side and indicate no. So that's C1 and C2, or atlas and axis. So, then we have some other... Uh, what I'll just quickly do though is show you. Here we have a thoracic vertebra. Here we have a lumbar vertebra, looking much, much larger. And here we have a typical cervical vertebra, looking much, much smaller. 